So as I said, the extraocular muscles. So the superior rectus, innervated by the oculomotor nerve, which is cranial nerve three. Primary action is elevation. The secondary action is adduction and medial rotation. And we have medial rectus, innervated by the oculomotor nerve, cranial nerve three. Primary action is adduction. We have inferior rectus, innervated by the oculomotor nerve, cranial nerve 3. Primary action is depression. Secondary action is adduction and lateral rotation. Next is lateral rectus, innervated by the abducens nerve, cranial nerve 6. And the primary action is abduction. And then you have superior oblique, innervated by the trochlear nerve, cranial nerve 4. Primary action is depression and abduction. Secondary action is medial rotation. Then we have inferior oblique, innervated by the oculomotor nerve, cranial nerve three. Primary action is elevation and abduction. The secondary action is lateral rotation. Finally is the levator palpebrae, palpebrae superioris innervated by the oculomotor nerve, cranial nerve three, and the action is that it elevates superior eyelid. On to muscles of mastication. Innervation for muscles of mastication is supplied by the mandibular nerve, cranial nerve CNV3. First you have the masseter. The masseter action is that elevation of the mandible. Temporalis is our next muscle. Action is that elevation, elevation and retraction of the mandible. Then we have the medial pterygoid, which the action is to elevate is elevation and side to side movements of the mandible. Finally, we have lateral pterygoid, which the action is depression and protrusion and side to side movements of the mandible. And then uh, there's a thing about a book or something I don't care and there's synergist muscles for the mandible for elevation you have the masseter temporalis medial pterygoid so the masseter the temporalis and the medial pterygoid for depression you have the geniohyoid mylohyoid stylohyoid digastric and platysma for protraction you have lateral, lateral pterygoid, medial pterygoid, and masseter. And then for retraction, we have temporalis and digastric. And for lateral deviation, unilaterally, we have the lateral pterygoid to opposite side and the medial pterygoid to opposite side.